News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Two Valley jails failed to meet state minimum standards. Both the Cameron County and Willis County jails failed their most recent inspections. In Cameron, the sheriff's office blamed staffing issues, saying the county jail system is in compliance except when it comes to the number of jailers. Over in Willis County, their issue stems from a lack of inmate checks. In a Facebook post, the Cameron County Sheriff's Office said that working with the county commissioner's court, they aim to come up with a solution. South Texas Health System Heart is adding more beds and staff to their emergency department. The goal is to help more patients and speed up wait times. The health system says the emergency department saw a 10% increase in patients compared to last year. A Reynosa councilwoman is facing new charges. Denise Ahumada was first arrested earlier this month at the Falfurias checkpoint. Investigators say they found more than 90 pounds of cocaine in her vehicle. She's now charged with two counts of conspiracy to distribute a controlled substance. A trial date has not been set. Turning now to weather, we're in for another hot day across the valley. Feels like temperatures could reach 115 degrees. There is a heat advisory starting at noon. That's News in 60. Have a great day. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.